Azumin Muhammad Yunus has demanded that his mother, Bersih 2.0 Chairman, Maria Chin Abdullah, to be released from the solitary confinement immediately. When we met her on Saturday, we were actually quite happy to see her. But when she told us about her treatment in her cell, where the lights are on 24 hours, she only gets two sets of clothing, sleeps on a wooden board, then all we can think of is how long must she go through this? How long until we get to be reunited again? So, yeah, what we're trying to say is that why is it that our mother, who has done nothing wrong and is fighting for justice and a free and fair election, be put into such, um, into such, uh, have been given such treatment? Azumin lodged a police report over the alleged conditions on Monday at the Pataling Jaya District Police Headquarters, along with his aunt Cynthia Chin, PKR MP Surendran, lawyers for Liberty Eric Paulson. Explaining that Maria suffers ailments such as hypertension and osteoarthritis, Cynthia said the detention would endanger her health. My sister has not done anything wrong. She is, shouldn't be treated like a terrorist or even worse than a murderer. And... She's not well. Yeah, her, she's not well. She's... She's got personal ailments. <coughs> and um, we wish her to come out as soon as possible, then she can get treatment as well. Paulson said he will lodge a report with the United Nations on Putrajaya's decision to detain her using a law designed to combat terrorism. While Maria remains in detention, many who were detained on Friday and Saturday in relation to the Bursay 5 rally has been released on police bail. They include DAP leaders Ronnie Liu, Jimmy Wong, Lee Kai Ming, Bursay's Mandip Singh, social activist Hishamuddin Rais, PKR's Ampang MP Zuraida Kamarudin, PKR Vice President Tian Chua, Pasipinji State Assemblyman Howard Lee, activist Fami Reza, student activist Muhammad Lukmanul Hakim, Anis Shafika, Muhammad Safwan Anang and PSM leader S. Aru Chelvin.